Welcome back to my channel and welcome to what was supposed to be my first week of the new semester, but I'm actually ditching school to go overseas to go visit my family in Serbia, where my family's from, to go celebrate my grandma's 90th birthday, which I think that's a good reason to miss school. I'm currently in the airport. It is definitely weird to film in an airport. I feel like I finally got over my fear of filming in public in Manhattan, like on the streets, but here for some reason, it's just like so awkward. <laughs> Anyway, I'm heading to my gate. I have an incredibly long flight ahead of me. I have a nine and a half hour flight and then an hour and 45 minute flight, which is just too long, but I'll get through it. I brought some knitting. I have some shows on my computer. So yeah, let's go. When I finally landed in Belgrade, my parents came to pick me up at the airport. And then I found out that Novak Djokovic, the Serbian tennis player, had won the Australian Open. So of course, the whole city was celebrating. The next morning, we visited my baka and spent the entire day together just hanging out and eating a home-cooked meal that she prepared for us. <laughs> Baka's house is absolutely filled with photos of my sister and I, as well as lots of our childhood artworks. We ended up just having a really chill day relaxing, adjusting to jet lag, and enjoying the Turkish delights that I brought from my layover in Istanbul. The next day was my dad's birthday, but before his birthday lunch, my mom and my sister and I ran some errands and explored Belgrade's downtown area. It even started snowing, which is a really fun surprise. <laughs> We also visited a little yarn store and of course I had to grab a little something to take home with me. We also got some candles for our week of birthday celebrations. We then went to one of my dad's favorite restaurants which serves amazing traditional cuisine and is known for its bright red umbrellas. Even though the umbrellas were looking a little bit disheveled because of the winter weather, they were still just so cheerful. My dad ordered a pork shank on top of a huge pile of sauerkraut and I think he was really happy. After lunch, we headed back to my grandma's house. And she made us an absolutely amazing sour cherry pie. This has to be one of my all time favorite desserts ever. As if we didn't already have enough sweets, we went out for cake later that evening and also to see some really pretty Christmas lights at the nearby mall. <laughs> the next day, Baka taught my sister and me a traditional cake recipe and we all baked together. We were making a cake called Jerbo, which has layers of walnut sponge cake, a chocolate coffee cream filling, and crunchy brittle. We also learned that my grandma is quite a character in the kitchen. Mama. Oh, shit. Ciao. Ciao. Shut up. She's distracted. Yes. <laughs> if you want to give this cake a try for yourself, I'll put my grandma's recipe in this video's description. Oh, smack. She's so brutal. <laughs>
Brittle. Yeah. Brittle. Cheers! <laughs> After making the cake, we put it in the fridge to sit overnight, and we decided to visit the Church of St. Sava, which is one of the largest Eastern Orthodox churches in the world. The immense size of the building and the huge glittering gold mosaics are just absolutely awe-inspiringly beautiful. Even though I'm not a religious person, this church still holds a really special place in my heart because I've been able to come visit it throughout my life and see the various stages of its construction. When I was a kid, the entire church was completely plain white inside with no mosaics on the wall whatsoever. The last time I was here, the mosaics were finally finished, but the floors were still under construction. Today, the gorgeous floors were finally done, and there are still some other parts being finished that I hope to come back and see next time I'm in this part of the world. The next day, our cake was all set and ready, so we immediately cut into it as soon as we got to Baca's house in the morning. This definitely ended up being one of my favorite cake recipes ever. Then we took Baca out for a surprise activity to celebrate her birthday. <laughs> Baca has really fond memories of visiting Las Vegas, so we all thought it would be fun to visit a new casino in the area and to play some slot machines together. And we had a blast. never been to a casino in my entire life, and I was the only one who won any money. And then we had a lovely Italian dinner. The next day was Baca's actual birthday, so we all surprised her by showing up to her house in matching t-shirts that I made for the family. And then we went out to eat at Novak Djokovic's restaurant. My grandma is a really huge fan of his, so this was a really special treat. The whole place was made by Djokovic's parents, and it was basically a giant shrine to him and his tennis accomplishments, which is pretty funny. And we all had an absolutely beautiful time together. I'm so glad that my family had the chance to be here together and to celebrate Baca's big milestone birthday, and I think it made her really, really happy too. After our whole week of adventures and celebration, it was time for me to head back to New York City and to get ready to return to school the next day. And also to see Ryan and Frankie. Speaking of Ryan, you may have noticed that he sadly couldn't make it on this trip, but he still very much ended up being a part of the celebration because every day, after we'd share the day's photos in our family group chat, he'd surprise us with some hilarious edits of the photos. He even went so far as to add himself into that clip that you saw earlier, which is just absolutely hilarious and probably took him an incredible amount of time to make but it really made it feel like he was there celebrating with us, which made it really special. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. I think the candles lit. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I made this little home video to document this really special occasion, and I hope you had a fun time tagging along with us. Now that school's starting up again, I'm gonna resume making my regular FIT content, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.